guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I decided to film my first YouTube video and it's been very challenging, fun and exciting. So hopefully it's all going to work out in the end and you might like this video. So for my first video I wanted to talk to you about how to create a summer capsule wardrobe in a step-by-step -step process. First, what is a capsule wardrobe? Well, a capsule wardrobe is a wardrobe that has a few essential and key items that mix together with ease, creating many beautiful outfits. Second, a capsule wardrobe is great for those that are working on a budget. Before you start buying new items, definitely go through your closet and pick a few items that you want to include into your capsule because I definitely and strongly believe that we should keep on reusing and recycling the clothing that we have. Now moving on to the step-by-step -step process. First step in creating your capsule wardrobe is definitely choosing your color palette. Start out first by choosing your dark tones. You can choose between one or two dark tones that you want to include into your capsule. I chose two tones, or should I say two colors. First color is black. The second color that I chose is this emerald green. After you have selected your dark tones, move on to your light tones. Include whites, beige, or ivory tones into your capsule. I as well included a cool tone into my capsule. And it's this beautiful light gray. Because I believe it's going to mix in well with this capsule. After you have completed your step one by choosing your color palette, move on to step two. Step two is choosing your essential and key items that will create this beautiful wardrobe. Key items such as tops, bottoms, and essential dresses. Now, for my wardrobe, I chose four bottoms, four tops, and three dresses. So let's get started with the bottoms. First bottom that I chose is this beautiful pair of shorts. Now, it's a brand new pair of shorts. It's a light blue tone that's going to mix well with my color palette. As well, it's a pair of shorts that is high-waisted and it covers my butt. I do not like shorts that are low-cut and very short where your butt shows. So, beautiful pair of shorts. The second item that I chose is this beautiful pleated skirt from Zara. It is a brand new item. I love the pleats because pleats are great for hiding your curves or sometimes accentuating them. It all of course depends on your body shape and the pleat you are using. The third item is this pair of black pants. It's an item that I've had in my closet that I decided to use for this capsule has this wrinkle effect to them. I'll show you up close. They also tie at the bottom to create this balloon-esque shape without giving too much attention to your hips or overpowering your body and drawing all the attention to the bottom. So it's a beautiful pair. That fourth item, an essential bottom that I decided to include into this capsule is part of this beautiful faded blue suit and it's a white pair of pants. Now I love a white pant for the summer because I do not want anything sticking onto me because it is going to be very, very hot. After you have selected your bottoms, move on to your tops. The first top I chose to include into this capsule is this beautiful brand new top from Zara. I love the open back and the closed front. It's a top that I definitely can wear to many occasions. The second top that I included is also a brand new top from Zara. It's a loose silky top with the, this loose neckline. The third top that I included is a white t-shirt. Now I love a good white t-shirt. It's a t-shirt that can be tucked in into your pants, shorts, skirts, anything. It's going to look great. That fourth item that I included is this beautiful white button-down shirt. It has these trendy puffy sleeves. It's also long enough to wear in the summer as a cover-up to the beach. After you have selected tops and bottoms, move on to your essential dresses. The first essential dress that I chose is this beautiful slip dress that I've had for quite some time in my closet. It's a dress that's going to be great for layering. The second dress that I included into this capsule is also a dress that I've had for quite some time. It's a knitted Zara dress with buttons going all the way down. And that's great because you can wear it as a cardigan. The last dress that I included into this capsule is this beautiful Arquette dress. And it's going to be perfect for everyday occasions or work. 
because you can definitely wear it underneath a blazer. Moving on to step three. Step three is picking your accent colors to give that pop into your closet. I chose two colors. The first color that I chose is this beautiful faded blue. Faded blue is a current color trend and I'm in love with it. I love the tone. It's so refreshing to me after a winter long of seeing everyone wearing blacks and grays. So it's something to consider. The second color that I chose to include into this capsule isn't in the clothing, it's in the accessories. And I'm gonna show it to you in a minute. So this is the faded blue, and the second is this beautiful pink. And I decided to include it into the accessory because I love a good, cute bag that pops. Now moving on to step four, and that is choosing your layers and patterns. Layers are great to create many outfits, and patterns you should include into your closet because they pop, just like Accent colors, patterns will make a difference in your closet. Now, the first pattern that I chose to include into this capsule is this beautiful leopard print. Leopard prints are back, they're trendy, they're cute, and this isn't necessarily the typical beige brown leopard print. It's a cool green black print. The second pattern that I chose, well, more of a print, is in this white t-shirt. Now, I think this is a beautiful cool print and definitely this is our home and since i am going for a blue faded blue color tones you know cool tones that i'm including into my closet this is going to go well and match well with everything that i have selected here the last pattern that i included is of course this floral dress now again it has all the tones that i'm using pops of pink greens and even dark reds and yellows. So it's gonna bring that necessary funk and spark into my closet. Now moving on to step five, and that is choosing your accessories, meaning shoes and bags that you think are gonna be essential to your everyday life and you're gonna get the most use out of them. First bag I already showed you and it's, and it's this pink bag. Now this bag is going to be great for every day or going out to, let's say, brunch or even dinner. And it's fun for the summer. The second bag that I chose is this beautiful beige, maybe even a bit of an olive tone to it bag from Zara. It's also a brand new bag that I purchased recently and I'm absolutely in love with it. It also has a long strap that you can Put on and wear it as a crossbody, but I do like this. Now moving on to shoes. Since we are doing a summer capsule, the first pair of shoes that I chose to include into this wardrobe is a pair of sandals, not heel sandals. So this is the first pair of shoes that I chose to include into my capsule. I love this pair because it's leather. It's great because it's a wide shoe. And especially during the summer when your feet get all swollen from the heat, this shoe is going to be perfect. Also, the toe, the end of the shoe is very trendy. It has that square toe that everyone is wearing and all the companies are doing. Moving on to second shoe. The second shoe that I chose is an open toe heel sandal. And it's right here. It's a Primark sandal. And I love these sandals because they're quite cheap. I got them in Europe for only 12 euros. They come in three shades, black, beige, and light green. I chose black because I do have a few dark items in my selection and I needed, desperately needed a good black sandal. Also, I've worn them a couple of times. The third shoe I chose is this beautiful Zara nude pair of heels. I love the fact that it's really breathable, it's open too, and it has that end square even though it's not in the front it's in the back it's still very trendy so here you go and the last pair that I chose to include into this capsule is a pair of sneakers and here is the last pair that I included it's a brand new Zara pair it has this beautiful crocodile print although it's not leather 
I still love them and the fact that they have cotton inside of them they're going to be great for the summer because your foot is going to be able to breathe now also white is great with mixing and matching so after you have selected and completed your summer wardrobe let's get started on mixing and matching and i'm excited to show you how to pair all of the bottoms with the tops and as well how to dress and accessorize all the dresses let's get started 